Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today's video is a top 10 favorite video of all my Bratz dolls from uh, my collection. So this was really hard for me because I have so many Bratz dolls and there's so many dolls that I love in my collection. Well, I basically love all my dolls. So, but today I'm going to show you some of my favorites. So this is my top 10 video. Um, this video is a little bit inspired by uh, two other Bratz fans who also made a video of their top 10 favorite Bratz dolls. So, um, I think it was Bunny Boo 94 Bratz for Life um, and LOZ Passion 01. Um, so, I will leave their videos in the link in a link in the description box down below. And also before I start, I want to say a massive thank you for 2k subscribers on my YouTube channel. I am so happy. Um, I'm just happy in general that I can share my love of dolls with you guys and my collection with you guys. So this is really amazing that you guys like to watch my videos So thank you guys so much. And now let's get started with my top 10 favorite Bratz dolls. Okay, so number 10 is Sleepover Leah, and I think this doll was made in 2007. So here is a look of her face. I just really love this face of this doll, and this was one of my very first Bratz dolls back in the day. Her hair is not really in the best condition anymore. Um, as you can tell, I played a lot with this doll when I was younger, and uh, she used to have like this little bow um, on her top but it fell off. I just really like her clothes. It's really really soft and I remember I got this doll from my grandfather so I don't know I just love this doll and she's kind of looking like up kind of I don't know. She's just a really beautiful doll. So this was Sleepover Leah. Next doll is Wintertime Wonderland Dana. And the reason why she's so special for me is because this was like my very first um, breast doll from like the classic breasts, you know, from the really beginning. Um, I found her in 2009 in a store and this doll was made in 2003. So that was a really good find uh, back in the day. I just love her makeup. I love the glitters. I hope it will focus. Here we go. She's just a really beautiful doll and I never played with this doll. I think you can tell like her hair is still perfect in a really really good condition. Like her jacket is also still attached to her pants. She does have like a bit um like stains here. I don't know really what happened because my dolls are always displayed on the shelf so I don't really play with them or anything so I don't really know what happened but anyway. Um, so this was number nine. Went to time with the land Dana. Next doll is Play Sports Vanessa and I think she is uh, made in 2007. I just love this doll so much. Um, She's really special. I was so happy when I found her. I found her in a really cheap store um, here in Belgium back in the day. And her hair is so soft, so beautiful. I love the colors in her hair. And she is playing tennis. And this kind of reminds me of my grandmother uh, because my grandmother used to play tennis when she was younger. So yeah, she's just a really beautiful doll. I really like her face and everything. So this was number seven, place sports, Vanessa. Next doll is Forever Diamonds, Yasmin. I was also really happy back in the day when I got this doll. I remember I found her in a toy store with my aunt and uh, my aunt told me that I could choose a breast doll and I really wanted to have this one, but she was quite expensive so First, my aunt didn't want to buy her for me because she was a little bit expensive. But I just knew that this doll was really hard to find actually because it was the first time I found like a Forever Diamonds doll. And I think it was like in 2008 
I think, and these dolls, or even 2009. Um, and these dolls were made in 2006, so I was pretty sure I wasn't going to find her again. And my aunt said yes, so um, I got her, so I was so, so happy. And I was right, after that I never saw her again. So that's why she's also a really special doll to me, I just love her face. And my camera doesn't want to focus today. Hope you can see her, guys. Um, and I just love her hair. As you can see, I actually never played with this doll, too. I just kept her this way. I took out her earrings because um, I was kind of clumsy back in the day. I always lost her earrings. So uh, one day I decided to put her earrings all in a little box. So, <laughs> and... I just love her. The only thing is like her arm is like going like this. It doesn't really stay like this anymore. It always it's in a weird position now. So but anyway, I just love this doll. Next doll is Flower Girl Snora. And this was also one of my very first Bratz dolls. I love her so so much. I got her from my grandmother and my grandfather. Um I don't think uh they I don't think after this collection they I don't think they ever made a Nora doll after this one again, I think. I'm not sure. So she's quite unique. I just love her hair too. It's like, it's so different than other brass dolls and I love her face. She has these little flowers in her hair too. Um, I just love the outfit and the shoes. These are so cute. I love these so much when I got her. And she still kind of smells a bit like the flowers. And I just love the idea behind this collection, like saving the planet and stuff. I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah. And I'm not sure if she's rare now. I haven't seen her much online uh, these days, so she might be rare, not sure. Um, but anyway, this was Flower Girl's Nora. Next doll is this Play Sports Sasha doll, and this was my very first Sasha doll. Um, back in the day, it was really hard to find a Sasha here in my country. They never sold her, actually. Like, at the time when I only bought my dolls in the store, I could only find, find two dolls, and that was this Play Sports Sasha and Designed by Sasha. And when I found this doll, I was so, so happy. Uh, my friend got her first, actually. I remember my friend um, came over to my house and she said, Look, I found a Sasha doll. I was so jealous. I remember I was so jealous and I couldn't take my hands off this doll um, when my friend took her doll at my house. So I asked my mom to go to the toy store um, after that and we went to the toy store and then I got this doll and I was so, so happy that I finally had a Sasha doll. Um, so the only thing was I wanted to change her outfit, of course, and she only had bare feet, so I didn't have shoes for, you know, a Sasha doll. I didn't have, like, her skin tone. Um, I only could, like, uh, put some boots on her, but I really wanted to have, like, her own shoes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and this is really coincidence, but in the same week, I went shopping to Holland with my mom, and this is what I found. Let me show you guys. In the same week when I got this doll, I found a fashion pack, um, I mean a shoe pack for a Sasha doll. This was so coincidence, like, it was so weird. I went to the store so many times and I never saw this uh, before, and... I think, in which year did I got this all? I think it was 2007. And this package, like this shoe pack, is like from 2003. So that is so coincidence that, you know, I wanted to have so... I wanted to have shoes for my Sasha doll and then I found this pack. Like, it was so weird but amazing at the same time. So I was so happy I got this. There's one pair in here. The other pairs are somewhere else. I can't find it right now, um, but I'm really happy I kept this. Um, so, and I thought I wanted to show you guys and share this little story behind this doll because I remember I was so happy when I found this one and also with this little shoe pack, it was amazing. So that was really exciting for me. So that's why 
She is one of my favorite dolls in my collection. So this was the place for Sasha and the little shoe pack. Next doll is Girls Really Rock Jade. This is really one of my favorite dolls also. I just love the style of this doll. I adore her combat boots. So cute. I really hope MJ will like make more dolls like this in the future. And I love her guitar. It really reminds me of Avery Levine. So I think they inspired her, uh, inspired this Jade doll um, from Avril, I think. So, and I love her hair. It's so, so beautiful and soft and I just love it. It's just such a cool doll. Um, I lost one of her earrings, like I said. I need to take them off or else I'm losing them. Um, so yeah, I lost one, but it's okay. I just love her face. I was thinking to between um, Genie Magic Jade and this Jade, but I decided to go for this Jade. I just think she's super beautiful. I like her stripy socks as well. It's so, so cute and her guitar. I just love everything of this doll. So this was Girls Really Rock Jade. Okay, so now we are going to the top three. So the next doll is not really a childhood doll, but I think every Bratz fan wants to own a doll from this collection and every Bratz fan knows that this collection is so iconic. So my next doll is Princess Roxy. Um, I got this doll recently, secondhand, I think it was January, but I was so, so happy when I got this doll. She's so beautiful, I love the colors, I adore this doll. I just wanted to have a princess doll, it doesn't matter which one. Um, so happy to own one now. Uh, she's so, so beautiful, love her. And for a secondhand doll, she's in such a good condition. She's complete, I have her jewelry, her second outfit, so I was also thinking between the girl side out J doll and then this doll, but I decided to go for the princess doll. I don't know, I think I adore princess a little bit more than girl side out, to be honest. Um, they're so iconic, I just love them so much. So this was Princess Roxy. Next doll is the Passion for Fashion Wave 2 Yasmin. And this was my very, very, very first Bratz doll. So I have so many memories of this doll. I remember when I got her, I got her from my grandmother. And I got her together with a Wings Club doll. I think it was Charmix Flora by Mattel. I was so happy when I got my very first Bratz doll. So she also has seen better days. I played a lot with this doll. She has a little chip on her uh, lip. I hope you can see that guys. My camera doesn't want to focus right now. You can see a little bit. Um, and yeah, her hair is not really in the best condition anymore. Well, it's all right, but it doesn't really feel soft or anything. Um, and yeah, I remember the day when I got her and when I unboxed her, um, yeah, it was really weird. Like, I always was used to have Barbie dolls and it was really new to me to have like a doll with these snap-on shoes. And I remember like I took off the shoes and while I was unboxing her, like her shoe fell off. And I was uh, in panic, like I didn't accept that, I didn't expect that, and I was in panic and I was like freaking out, I'm a really drama queen sometimes, gonna be honest. Um, so I was freaking out like, oh my gosh, I broke my doll, and then I just saw you, I just had to put it back on. So that was really new and strange to me, so having like my first brass doll, I, had, I know I had so many thoughts and... I don't know, it was weird and amazing at the same time, you know what I mean? Because it was so different, but still, I'm in love with these dolls, so yeah, this doll brings lots of memories. I used to change like her clothes every day, like one day she was wearing these clothes and then the other day I changed her into her second outfit and she was always sitting on my nightstand whenever I go to sleep. Um, 
I don't know, I was just so happy I got my very first Brastel and I couldn't wait to go get another Brastel and now we're here. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely... She definitely needs to be in my top three of my favorite Brass dolls because this doll is just amazing for me. I just love her and I love like her purple eyes and her purple makeup. So this was Passion for Fashion, Yasmin. Okay, so now the number one Brass doll, my favorite Brass doll of my whole collection. I also got her recently and she is new in box. So it's also not really a childhood doll, but it's a doll that I wanted for so long and I'm super happy I have her now. So this is my number one brass doll and it is Rock Angels Yasmin. When I got this doll, I was also extremely happy. Rock Angels has so many memories for me. I think it has mem like good memories with every Bratz fan. So I was so happy when I got her, like, before I got her, like, some years ago, I really had dreams about getting, like, a Rock Angels doll, like, this explains, like, how obs obsessed I am with brats, really, so, I'm so, so happy, and I used to play the game a lot, like, the PlayStation 2 game of Rock Angels, I used to play it a lot, and, I don't know, this doll means so much to me. So this is my number one, number one Brad doll, Rock Angels Yasmin. So happy with her. So guys, these were my top 10 favorite Brad dolls. I'm going to show you an extra doll before I end this video because I have noticed I haven't showed a Chloe doll yet. So, um, and of course there is no Brad without Chloe. So I'm going to show you a doll that has um, lots of memories too for me. It's another childhood doll and I'm gonna say this first She has seen better days, so she's not in the best condition anymore. I used to play with her a lot, so Here she is. This is Pampered Pups or Pets uh, Chloe and this was my second Bratz doll. So yeah, I got her after the Yasmin doll as you can see her she has like some chips oh excuse my nail <laughs> sorry about that um so she has some chips on her lip as you can see so she's not in the best condition anymore her arm is also a little bit broken i mean you can see it here so i'm really really careful with her um i remember when i got this doll um there was two dolls left and uh, from this Chloe doll and the other doll uh, someone has stolen some accessories from her and I noticed that like let me just show you with the Rock Angels Yasmin so um, some of her accessories was stolen like just kind of imagine that the stand is gone and the guitar is gone or the CD is gone and that was with the Pampered Pups Chloe her dog was gone like the little pillow was gone and I noticed that and I said it to like uh, someone who worked there and yeah that was really strange because it was the first time and the last time I ever saw that, that someone has stolen accessories from a doll like it was so strange but lucky enough there was another doll left complete um, so I was happy because I wanted this doll um, back in the day when I went to the toy store so I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, let me know if you ever uh, saw that before that you go to the store, you wanted to get a doll and you noticed that there's accessories missing. Like you could really see the box was ripped open and someone has taken out the accessories. It was so strange. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, I kind of remembered that when I got this doll. Um, so, but she's so, so beautiful. She has some curls still. I just love this doll. And I still have her puppy. Also, excuse the condition of the puppy. It has seen better days. I'm so sorry. Um, but he's so cute. I love him so much. And his head could move like this. Um, so yeah, this is just an extra doll because, like I said, there's no brats without Chloe. So this was the last doll I had to show you guys. So guys, this was my top 10 favorite Bratz dolls. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which your favorite Bratz doll is from your collection. 
And also before I end this video, I would like to give um, I want to give a shout out to Dollmania. They asked me if I could give them a shout out for their channel. So I will leave their YouTube channel in the description box down below. So make sure to check out their channel. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more Brad's videos. And you can also follow me on social media. The links are always in the description box. Also guys, thanks again for 2000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!